Welcome back, everyone. It's Stray Faye here with another episode of Harvest Moon DS Cute. All right, more days of year three. If we did all the rival events for year three, Barrel's weather is another sunny day. <laughs> so, yeah, all our random events. Um, and a handful of our heart events are locked behind rain. So, yeah. Join us for another episode of Let's Player Yells at Sun. Okay. I'm just gonna keep getting mad at the weather until I get what I want. So, we'll probably have some more, like, bonus cutscenes from, like, the boy version, I guess, at the end of this. But in the meantime, we are going to do the same shenanigans that we have been doing. Um, we need to get more purple sprites, which means we have to have them heal us an Un ungodly amount of times. And yeah! <laughs> We're still in that vein, and maybe we'll do another trip to the mines and hope we get something new. Same old, same old. Let's check your recipe. Today is... a gray day. I don't think I made corn yet, did I? I'm gonna make it now. Sometimes I like pre-prep this, and sometimes I don't. Dated the recipe, and then of course I need all the gifts for the boys because we are wooing them to red. We might, maybe we'll get like a yellow event <laughs> somewhere along the way. All right, uh, all these pot recipes. Hard to remember and keep track. Fish stew is done. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, what's next? Another pot recipe. Fish stew, blah blah blah. Candy potato. Book. And then I did get eat cheese fondue. And I'm just gonna throw wine at Marlin because... <laughs> because it's annoying. <laughs> it's annoying to make Ellie leaves. Why go through all the effort to make his favorite gift? I'd rather just throw wine in his face and sleep. Uh, Poch, where are... Did I pass it? Uh, I swear to goodness, it's... She's fondue. Okay. That's... <laughs> it's a curse, having, having too many words on the recipe list now, I'm just like, I can't see the actual recipes that I tend to use. Holy cannoli, that was a lot of cooking. Alright. Let's go. Forward. Hi. Oh. Should I join? <laughs> I didn't even, like, check my- No, I'll do it. Maybe the game will give us a little grace. There's a duck festival tomorrow. Do you want to enter a duck from Lon Lon Ranch? I'll participate. Any duck is fine, but no ducklings. Darren's unhappy. <laughs> not unhappy because you're not gonna win. You're gonna lose because you probably lack a heart. One measly heart. All right, well, let's lose another duck festival. Mm -mm. I'm just hoping that maybe I like. There's some un invisible cutoff between seven and eight that like still counts as the win. Do, do, all right, let's do this. Do, 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 do. Da, da. I guess I'll go give gifts to people. Let's go around. Gray is very important. He's only here once a week. Uh, oh, I have multiple fish stew. That's fine. That's fine. All right, I must have missed Griffin because he went to town on Wednesday. Oh, so good. Oh, big corn. Thank you. Hey, Grandpa's around, so I can take it easy. Too noisy at home. This is really paradise. Where are you at right now? Okay, a few more weeks. Maybe if I like actually chatted him up on the phone, he would. Go up a little faster. <laughs> Forget to do that because I don't really have a reason to order anything from the blacksmith anymore. 
I could still get the Maker Shed. Kind of delayed in getting it, because... I mean, it would make me a little bit more money than I think about it. I'm not really using any harvest sprites to harvest any garbage for me. Nothing can top this is for me, thank you. I've always wondered why I built one on such a countryside. Now I finally understand. Alright, let's next place. Gotta do our rounds. Because I have to remember where you guys are. Yeesh. Oh, what a big fish! This is my favorite, thank you. Oh, Milan, I thought you'd come. Yes. <laughs> We could probably actually activate her yellow of it. Um, I think it gives you like 5,000 brownie points. 5,000 uh, love points for doing the correct answer, and that would pretty much get her to max. We, need a, we probably need to construct a, a Leia bonus episode. <laughs> I like barely finished the Witch Princess bonus episode. I mean, I still gotta edit it together, but it's just like a mishmash of cutscenes. <laughs> But I still gotta do a layup on this video. She is one of the easier bachelorettes to woo out of out of all the special bachelorettes. She's like the easiest. There's just some uh, like tips and tricks, but like essentially you're just spamming your favorite item or her favorite item. Potato. And eat potato. That's, that actually sounds good. <laughs> uh, thank you for coming. <laughs> Alright, and then the strawberries. Ooh. These are fully grown. Which means we get to plant more strawberries. <laughs> get more strawberries that we can shove in the maker. I should be talking to the purple sprites, but so focus on one thing. Back on watering can. Go to Maker Shed. So much back and forth, I don't know what to do. Alright, so we are doing. I feel like I feel like we're lagging behind on the strawberries. Right because we're so far ahead with the, the yams. Alright, just like get back and forth. Made nine bags of level 19 strawberries. Alright, we still have time to plant these back here, so one. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. There we go. As my farmer passes out. And, alright. And then the goddess. And then that's it. That's all the gifts. Three tenths. What do I want to give you? I guess I'll give you the level 17 one. See you, Milan. So you came. I'll accept it. Thank you. By the way, I absolutely love that offering you gave me. Well, toodles. Toodaloo. All right, now we, now we stand around. <laughs> now we stand around asking these guys to heal us. Um, is it now? I heal you about three tenths. All right, gotta keep an eye on the times. So probably eight twenty would be appropriate to talk to them again. All right. Well, let's actually. I still have to take care of my animals. <laughs> Don't forget about those guys. I can hear you that three tenths. Still have a chicken and a cow and a sheep that I gotta take care of. Want to neglect you and have you go back down? Go down, hearts. Please let me. Let me put you down. Babies! Rub, 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 rub. He looks healthy. Bubbles aren't. 
They look so unamused to be paid. <laughs> like, really? Like, this many bubbles? Ridiculous. Alright. Watch the adolescent cow. Rush the adolescent cow. The heifer. She's a heifer. Her sparkly eyes are. That's it. We did it. We took care of our livestock. Alright, back to this. <laughs> back to your. Back to the program show. Ah, oh, man. Alright, what's been happening lately? <laughs> I've had a hard week. I was like mentally trying not to lose it. <laughs> Although I feel like my body is like a little bit more in shape, which is good. <laughs> I've play been playing Ring Fit and um, it's not hurting the next day, which is progress. Probably push myself a little harder. But man, yeah, it's just like, work's been killing me. <laughs> and, <laughs> it, it, I don't know, it's just like... Like, I know I shouldn't complain. Because... I don't know, I feel like people look down on complainers, but... It is like, poured so much work and effort, and I just feel like... Not really appreciated. <laughs> this is just, uh, real life. I, d I know you guys appreciate me, though. Like, yo, you always, like, say it in the comments. <laughs> it's like, I think I think I live in a, in a toxic workplace. Just try to grin and bear it, though. I, I, I like to take the path of least resistance. So if it's to, like, avoid a fight or avoid confrontation, I just, like, won't bother. <laughs> Alright, what's next? Oh yeah, I'm glad I have some days off. I know when I go back. <laughs> go back is gonna be really, really busy, because um, it's another holiday. I didn't expect Easter to be this busy. Alright. Another 30%. What else have I been doing? Been reading more skip beat. I almost finished uh, the three the second three and one, so volume before no wait. Four five six. <laughs> Almost finished that volume, and I'm like waiting for the next one. <laughs> I've been trying really hard to find like cheap copies. It's like only a collection of them, a small collection of the manga is like retail price. I'm like trying to find find a good price to use, and some of them seem to be like rare. <laughs> like, did they not print that out that many of them? Sometimes when I see like a really rare one, where it was like listed for 80 bucks and like suddenly I saw one go down that was 80 bucks go down to 18 with free shipping. I'm just like <laughs> kind of skeptical. It's like, is this gonna be like a dog eared like copy of the manga? Is it like, is it gonna be completely torn up? Or it says like it's from an international company. I'm just like, is this gonna be in English? <laughs> Better be in English, because I can't read in any other language. <laughs> yeah, I'm just waiting for... I think I got volumes... I like I like it a lot. I like I like Skip Beat a lot. Even though I like pretty much saw the anime, I really like the manga too. Um, and the manga takes takes it far beyond that far beyond the anime, what the anime does. Kinda sad that it stopped. I feel like they could have kept going. But I guess it just kind of fizzled out. But the anime at least. The manga is like they're, just, they're still writing the manga. It's like Naruto tears. 
still going after all these years. I'm like, holy cannoli, has, has it been like a decade since I watched this? Yeah, I think I'm on... I'm waiting for... 789. And then... I did not get... 1112, but... Got 13, 14, 15 for like a really low price, so I just like, I'm gonna get it. Just hope I can find the in-between copies. <laughs> so I can read that. I'm really happy with some anime that's out. Um, episode one of season three, right? <laughs> season three of Ascendance of a Bookworm came out, and I'm like, ooh. That was a, a nice surprise, like, after work. That my after work food. I got to watch that. It was a little, like, it's a little confusing, like, listing the seasons of Ascendance of a Bookworm, because it goes, like, part one and part two. They did, like, kind of what Attack on Titan does. Like, the final season just keeps getting cut down into parts. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's on season three, and I really like it a lot. So it got kind of weird at the end of season two when it, like, it got... Kind of like magic got involved in it, and like, huh, this, this whole time has been about like, her trying to be a merchant, and all of a sudden magic is involved with this. But it is like, magic is prevalent? at the beginning, but I guess, like, she is born as a commoner, she didn't really know what it was. Or at least, reincarnated as a commoner. Alright, I think this is all I can do. These guys. I just like to let- I like to not watch them leave. Even this- Even though it's probably completely safe to have them around in the girl version. Still playing by the boy version rules. Alright, I am saving over file one today. Do -do -do. Right, Betty buys. Today is a Friday. Maybe not Valley News. Alright, alright, the Duck Festival. <laughs> right, Darren is there. I better attend that. Alright, well, I probably won't forget because I'm not going to be able to give any gifts to anyone because everyone's locked in their house. Alright, we'll do our chores though. So many strawberries. I think my cat is trying to bust out the door. <laughs> How dare you lock me out, human? I don't think she sounds like that. She's more of a like. I just always imagine my cats being like, oh no 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 no. <laughs> like if they were, if they could speak, that that's all they would be saying because they just they just freak out at everything. Down you. Right, level 31, yeah, oh boy. How exciting. Alright, oh my goodness, I have so many strawberries in my back <laughs> of all varying levels. It's fine, they sell for a lot. Uh, should I pick this? Yes. Like, not sure anymore. <laughs> I guess I can leave you. Oh god, okay, I need- I need to get rid of some. No, I didn't want to separate it. So that can go- that can go by- I forgot to give this to rock. Oh well. It's rock. <laughs> I guess I'm saving that. I will eventually get in the groove of giving all the gifts to the boys. Right. Turn out some more bags of seeds. Mm 
that in the right spot because I kind of my mind went on autopilot for a little bit. Um buh, buh, buh. They do now. I got I got some time to kill until 10 a.m. and I don't think the harvest sprites are out, so let's just deal with our animals at first. This thing in the morning. Rub that chicken. You. Chuck you, Chuck you, Chuck everyone. Laffy looks healthy. I, I really need to double check if you see if the points for the for that mini game count. I know the points for the petting game counts, but I like never like to go to red because it's too much of a hassle for a lot of the animals except for the duck. Shredding my screen for no reason. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, there's no sprites here. Because <laughs> God forbid the sprites work on a holiday. They gave they gave the sprites worker rights in the DS version. That it's kind of oh no, it's kind of disappointing because the harvest sprites worked like regardless of what the holiday was in Friends of Mineral Town. But in this game, they take days off. By the way, I actually love that offering gave me whole toodles. Toodaloo. Right, now I just have to linger about. I guess time does flow fast in this game. I shouldn't complain too heartily. There like really isn't anything for me to do in the overworld. <laughs> like I don't I like, the fish I need I, I can't access. If I go to the vines, time doesn't flow, so like all right, well, that's not gonna help me. I guess I could try to catch- I don't know, maybe I'll catch more fish for Leia. Maybe- maybe that's the answer. Catch more large fish. Silver perp. Actually, now I think about it, I don't even need any large fish anymore. <laughs> All I have to do is activate Leia's YOLO event, and like, I'll be solid. I'll be- I'll be ready. To like, have her at full hearts. That's exciting. Maybe I should do that tonight. As I'm like, trying to fall asleep. Just like, grind out Leia fiction. <laughs> On one of my copies of the game. Not even sure which one I should do. I don't think there's that many lay glitches except for the pond one. You could save scum. Safely avoid that one. Alright, well I already talked to you guys, so I'm just gonna start it. I like to start the contest soon, is that okay? Let's start the contest. And now let's begin the judging. Yay! Entry number one's duck. Right this way, please. See all the silly names that you give these ducks. This is Bull. Yes, Bull the duck. Next up is entry number two's duck. Right this way, please. Quack, quack. This is Rum Wool. I <laughs> Why is the rum gone? Alright, uh, what's number three's name? Kind of amusing to read the names. This is night. Alright. <laughs> How stoic. And finally, entry number four's duck. Right this way, please. It's Darren. You're sorry, Darren. You're probably gonna lose my hair, but I hope I'm wrong. And that concludes the introduction of all the entrants. Please wait for the results. My fault, I didn't pet you enough. <laughs> now for the results! Yay, the rankings are... First place, bull! Ah, oh, that's bull crap. Alright, well... Second place, knight. Third place, Darren. Wow, Darren, you didn't even get second. And to turn 
opinion the tendies. All right, well, <laughs> I thought it would at least get second. That was fun. All right, back to work. We lost. How could you, Darren? You disappointed me. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna win next year because we're at seven hearts right now. So clearly we're gonna be maxed out by the time next year rolls around. All right, not for, we didn't get to win. Darren, eat some, eat some bugs, whatever you do. That pond scum. Uh, yeah, I think we go to bed. There's like, nobody's outside, so might as well. Do, do, do. Bum, 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 bum. At least we didn't miss any, uh, bachelors. <gasps> it's a rainy day! <laughs> I didn't even check the weather yesterday, did I? Oh no! Oh no, it's Saturday rain. Hmm. Well, I at least expect it. Alright, what are my priorities? Uh, oh, I think there's actually a cutscene or a random event with Cliff on a Saturday. Um, but we also need to do Marlin's purple event. That should be a priority, because then we can just immediately activate his blue event after that. Uh... <laughs> Hang on, I gotta, like, look up rainy day. So... I feel like I make myself a list. <laughs> So, we're gonna do this. 810. Marlin. Then, um, I know sometime around 1, we gotta visit Cliff at the inn. So any other rainy events that happen on this day that we can activate. This is, uh, no, need yellow of, yellow heart with Marlin for that. Oh my god, yellow, yellow heart event with gray is gonna require rain on a Thursday! What is, the odds? Uh, Rick, I need sunny, rainy day on Sunday. Well, that's out of the, out of the running. Need another rainy day on Sunday for a potpourri cutscene. So I can't do that one because it's Saturday. Uh, but yeah, I've got... i got the cliff one already set. Or already on the schedule. <laughs> really, is it, is it only gonna be two? Oh, that one requires... This one requires that Celia and Marlin are married. This one requires a rainy Thursday. This one requires a rainy Friday. Alright, so there's only two we can activate. And I think... We should be able to activate the Marlin one this time, because it's not Monday. I realize on Monday, um, he does have a different schedule. Because he goes to the bar. Alright, hopefully I don't mess this up. I could fully mess this up, because I kind of, like, go on autopilot and I just start doing other things. Alright, well, we're gonna get curry rice for Cliff. Alright, and I can't do any of Cliff's events, right? I think we already activated his blue. His yellow one we're not gonna get for a while. Hot milk. I already have cheese fondue, so I don't have to worry about that. I think I already have fish stew, don't I? Yes, we have fish stew, we have fondue. Need Candied potato. Candied potato's done. If I forget something, oh well. <laughs> Alright, let's do our other chores for now. Mm. Trying to like keep track of all the cutscenes <laughs> that I'm trying to get. 
Oh, glorious rain. Never thought I'd be so happy to see a rainy day in a Harvest Moon game. Can't really also have to put our animals back in, so we probably should do that first. Be a little bit of a drag trying to push their butts around. No, don't get mad. Don't get mad. I should rub you. <laughs> Darren's not mad. <laughs> I think the, the duck would like the rain. Being a duck and all. You know, water off a duck's back. Yep. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's take care of you guys. Rubber, 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 Gonna get sick in the rain. We are doing our rounds. Oh, candy potato. Brings back memories as a school. Oh boy, you're yellow. You're yellow. We're gonna activate your yellow event soon. Oh, you kicked. <laughs> oh, that's kind of. <laughs> kind of surprised that he's already at yellow. <laughs> Strawberries that we can sell. I can probably heal you about three tenths. Ooh, I gotta rehire you guys out, unless you're already rehired out. Um, I don't know. Let's give you one of these. Got too many levels of strawberries to contend with. Oh, see you, so you came. I'll accept it. Thank you. By the way, I absolutely love that offering you gave me. Well, toodles. Toodaloo. Do. Nothing can top this. This is for me. Thank you. I've always wondered why I built the bar in such a countryside. I finally understand. Next. <laughs> Not forget rock this time. I need this for you. Begrudgingly. How about yeah, you're 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 pretty low. I gotta play catch up with you. Before your four rolls around. Alright, here's Cliff. You know me well, I love this. It reminds me of the in mineral town. at your face. <laughs> just, just, just slap that fish at your face and run. I thought you'd come. Alright, and then Gustafa and I'll toss Marlin a, a wine when we do his event. Really warms you up, this kind of present is always welcome. Thank you. Alright, he's at green. I'm actually gonna save. 
Just in case I picked the wrong answer during Marlin's purple event. I think some of the translations are kind of odd. Alright, so we should... I could probably give him a gift now. Hey, this for me? My thanks are in order. Hey, what's up? Alright, so he should... It's not a Monday. I I think Mondays are his days off, because he, he tends the bar on Mondays. He should hopefully leave and go to the farmhouse at 8.10. And you get this event between 8.10 and 12 p.m. On a rainy day, not Monday, not winter. I should probably add that to my notes. <laughs> not Monday, because I didn't have that before. Um, and yes, I'll also be at Purple Harder Higher. Oh, hello. Finally, we got, we're catching up with you. Are you to buy something? I think Vess is working out on the farm right now. Yeah, the reason why Marlon isn't here, because he doesn't want to get sick working out in the rain. If you're here to shop, then it's best to come back later. Oh, bet you're wondering why I'm all alone here. You've probably already heard, but I got terribly sick a little while ago. So if I try to work in the rain, Best and Seely just tell me to get back indoors. <laughs> you're like trying so hard to work. You like before we just saw the cutscene where Marlin is trying to forcibly take heavy boxes away from Celia. That's why I do what I can inside the store here. Hi. Hi, Milan. It's good to see you. Hi, Celia. Let's see here. What you looking for, girl? There they are. Celia, what are you looking for? Aunt Vesta told me to get her some seeds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come on now. You can't hold all those bags. <laughs> Why can't I hold all these seeds? Let me help you. No, I forgot it, Marlin. If you get soaked out there, you might get sick again. But Celia, I thought you were sick too. <laughs> what about you, though? I feel fine today, so don't worry about me. This is quite a load, though. And I shouldn't ask Milan for help. I'm best you can carry some. I'll go get her right now. I mean, I can help. I'm a perfectly healthy farmer. I don't even need to eat. But I can... Ugh. Oh, poor Marlin. <laughs> he just wants to be a man. He just, just, just wants to show off his manliness. He's concerned about you or you need to cheer up. This is a really weird... Like, I feel like none of these are the good answer. <laughs> But I think the correct choice is, um, let's not mention Celia, um, because it is a hard event between us. Let's say, <laughs> you need to cheer up! We have to give him some encouragement! This does- I feel like this does not work in real life. Like, it's like someone's down, you're like, just stop being sad. <laughs> yeah, you said it. I need to cheer up and get healthy so something like this can never happen again. <laughs> Thanks, Milan. Yeah, just not- don't be sad. That's the, yeah, the answer to depression. Just not stop being sad. Vesta just wanted one bag. Alright. Oops, I guess I misheard her. Yeah, one versus seven. Try to think. <laughs> Try to think what would that- that would be in Japanese. Maybe it sounds the same. <laughs> I better get these seeds out to Aunt Vesta. Forced laughter. He's forcibly cheering up. Thank you. I think that was the right answer. Yeah, that was the right answer. We are almost to green. But yeah, that, do, that does not feel like the right answer, but it is. Alright, what do I do now? Um, well, I don't want to miss this other event. 
So I will loaf around until 1 p.m. Let's see where the scene is located. So many cutscenes. There's so many cutscenes that's still missing. I can probably heal you about three tenths. Yeah, I need to wait till around 1 p.m. I mean, this one has a lot, a larger range. It's like 1 to 6 p.m. on a Saturday, rainy day. Um, another requirement for this event, though, is that Nami can't be married. So, if you're like a little late in the game and you already have like your rivals all set up together, you, you won't be able to get this. you too soon. Wait a bit. I can smell flowers all over the place. Intoxicating flowers. Nice and warm out. I love the warm weather. Love, love, love it. Alright, okay. We already we already sent out help. I guess we can rehire them out tomorrow. Maybe about 30%. Pretty diligent about making him work another week. I right, guess I'll talk to him again. I could probably talk to him right around now. Oh, darn. Thought maybe in the middle of 10.50 p.m. would be enough. It sucks when you miscount because then you have to go through so many dialogue boxes. Alright, again at 11.40. 11.40. And we'll do it again at... 12.20ish. I have all the gifts I needed to give, right? I did. No, I should probably just order... the cannery. From gray because it's the last maker should I or maker machine that I need I can afford it and it would give me a little bit more money from selling uh my leveled up crops that I pan pick myself um let me see mace tailoring nope oh, that's in here whoops yes I think maybe there'll be more outfits but I <laughs> I think those also unlock at farm chief uh Saibara the blacksmiths Get the canned food maker. Or anything that we- it acts like a shipping bin, but anything that we throw in it, um, increases the price by 20%. But of course, if you have... If you have, a uh, what do we call it? Harvest sprites. Uh, working, like the- the green sprite team. Uh. They can't use it. They just use a standard box price. Alright, I guess we have to wait. Until about one. Fine. Embarrassing, but for now the best I can do is 30%. Alright, so let's go to the inn. Did I get it? Yep, I got it. <laughs> this is just a normal random event, but... Um... It requires... Kind of difficult to activate, cause yeah. So once again, this one, this one you get between one p.m. to six p.m. on a Saturday, rainy day. Um, Nami and Cliff have to both have a hundred friendship points or more, and Nami can't be married. So like either Gustafar or male protagonist. Hey, have we met before? What? Uh, wow, that was, a, that was a long pause. Come to think of it... Yeah, we have met somewhere before. I wonder where. I'm always going on trips. Maybe we met then. Oh yeah, now I remember. Did you ever fall down at the neighboring town? 
Uh, yeah. I'm the one that helped you out that time. Oh, really? I always wondered who the person was that helped me. I took you to the doctors and then I left right away. He didn't pass out after that and kick him out of bed. <laughs> they would have asked me lots of annoying questions. <laughs> it's like she's run for the police. She's like, don't, don't interrogate me. Here's this passed out man. I didn't do it. Please. Maybe that's why she skipped town. Thank you for helping me back then. There's no need to thank me. I would have felt guilty if I left you there and didn't do anything about it. Thank you. Alright, that was somewhere sometime. Small world. Were you listening? It's not like me to help people. <laughs> left them left them in the snow. So yeah, this is a nod off um to that one event in Friends of Mineral Town. Um like on a snowy on a snowy winter day. Um I think I think this only occurs on your first year of Friends of Mineral Town. Um you go to the town square and you see like Cliff kind of staggering and then he passes out. Um, and you actually get like his photograph, which is the same sprite as the witch princess's gift, but it's supposed to be a photograph of his family. Um, and to complete the event, you have to show him the photograph and he like kind of tells you his backstory about like how he left his sister and his mom. Then like how he came back, he realized like both of them were gone. And he was kind of like lost after that, but yeah, poor Cliff. <laughs> it was also also a funny cutscene where if he passed out, um, while Cliff was still at the clinic, um, they would kick him out of bed. <laughs> yeah, this, this, that's just kind of a nod off um, to that cutscene, except they have Nami be the savior instead of um, the protagonist, because technically this protagonist has never been outside of town. Okay. So, oh, two rainy day cutscenes down. That's exciting. How exciting. Alright, how are we doing on time? Um, yes. <laughs> I want to try to get... I want to try to get an accessory. Good, I can, I'll do it. What am I missing? Do 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 do. Do 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 missing. What's that? <laughs> Got the earrings. Cap a hat. Whatever the heck this is. Friendship pendant. I'm guessing. I would. I would assume the friendship pendant would be next to the other pendants, but this is like they just grouped it up a little differently. Okay, let's. Let's do my hoe. Probably will need a yeah, hammer is probably better. <laughs> and try to keep my keep an eye on my stamina levels. Alright, let's see if we can find a hole. We'll visit Kira and I'll look for an accessory somewhere. <laughs> somewhere sometime. Oh, oh, oh. oh, all right, I'm just gonna dig for the stairs then. If it's not convenient, then just dig for the stairs and try the next floor. All right, level one is pretty darn clear. It better be here. I have lumber, right? Okay. I'm going through it. I'm going through it a lot faster. Didn't expect to just get the stairs on my first first shot. Ow. No oh, hole. Really? No hole? Fine. <laughs> what about the next floor? Nothing to it. The uh, chicken. Right, let's give her the chicken. <laughs> Give 
getting rid of all the bugs. All right, let's try this. Let's try this floor. Watch the RNG just be terrible. Hello? There we go. I was like, there has to be a pitfall, pitfall somewhere. They all can't be under rocks. Okay, there it is. I'm like, wait, I swore I found it. Okay, this is a pretty big drop. Back here. <laughs> Could not be alive. Okay, don't. Well, what's been going on lately? Um, other than finishing the anime that I've been trying to watch last season, uh, I tried out some new ones. Uh, let's see. I tried out two so far this this season of anime. Okay, I should probably save. <laughs> uh, what was one I tried? Like Otome Game Sekai. Long this is like a long title. I think the world of Otome Games is tough for mobs. Um, of course, another Isekai anime. It's so popular right now. Um, but yeah, he's like the guy starts off, he's like forced to play test this game. <laughs> and he like he absolutely hates it, but he just completes it out of spite. I think he like he he play tests it as like a a favor. I think it's his sister. But in any case, he feels obligated to playtest this Otome game. That he, he hates, he hates it. Like, he hates the plot, he hates the characters, how conceited the characters are. He hates the, like, the game direction. <laughs> Cause like, no, the game doesn't make sense, like, the setting is all over the place. There's like, magic and me mechas and all that. Um, but he ends up completing it 100%. Learns all the routes. And then, since he like, well, we, he played it in one sitting. Um, of course he ends up like, meeting his demise, cause pretty much played himself to death. <laughs> and he wakes up and in the world, and he realizes it's the same world as the Otome game that he hated. And he's like one of the background characters, and unfortunately in this world, um... Kind of like reverse gender roles, or like... Men have like, if they're not attractive, like men have no value in this world. <laughs> and like their only hope of uh... Like, any success or, like, a comfortable life is to get married to, like, a wealthy woman. Like, the, ro the roles are kind of reversed. <laughs> and, he's, and then he, like, he kind of gives up because he's just, like, he's just, like, a background character. He's, he's not as handsome as, like, the main protagonist boys, but, like, he, he realizes he can use his, like, game knowledge to, like, get him a step up and, like, find items and powers that, like, normally normal people wouldn't have, but since he has knowledge of, like, the game world, he's able to just find all this stuff. Okay, well, Jesus, the holes are really hard to find this time. I'm, like, I'm enjoying that one. It's on episode two right now. Uh, let's see, the other one I watched was, uh, Yusha... Yamas? It's about Yusha, so it's about a hero. Uh, let's see. Well, sure. Be a good uh, description of it. It's pretty much like the hero, um, it starts off like the hero has just saved, like, all the humans. But then the humans decide, like, He's too powerful, we don't want him anymore, and like exile him, and he's like, you know what? I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna fight for the opposite team then. So he like, ends up joining the demon the demon's army. 
and helping it rebuild like everything you just destroyed. So it's kind of interesting because um, the demons don't really like him because, of course, he's the one who destroyed like their whole army and, and their whole base and like killed a lot of their a lot of their comrades, but I guess through his wit, he's just like, all right, I'm gonna rebuild this side now. Like, screw you humans. <laughs> you just used me and threw me away. Okay, there's no hole. What are the odds? Next. Next floor, just keep trying. And of course I'm watching a sentence of a bookworm. <laughs> I'm watching that by myself though. <laughs> I was like, my boyfriend wasn't interested in it, I guess, when like it first came out, so I just started watching it myself, and... Alright, I get to watch it whenever I want. You know, and we're also... Also watching more Police in a Pod. Get a little bit heavy, actually. I think we're... We're three episodes away, I think, from the finale, assuming it ends on episode 13. But yeah, first it was like really lighthearted, just like kind of showing the jaded views of like a police officer, how they're like not appreciated. Everyone hates them, just calls them tax parasites. Um, but yeah, everyone like dislikes them because they write them tickets. And it just got like really dark because like... Even though at the beginning they were just kind of joking around about like all this like, physical training they have to do, and, like, all this running around they have to do, and... <laughs> they, like, see some really messed up stuff, though, too. Like, horrible car accidents, and... And, like... People just hurting themselves or others. So, like the protagonist the next time like someone like complains about getting a ticket about like not like putting their child in like a car seat she just like has a PTSD moment and like remembers where she sees a car accident where like the baby got flung out of the car window and she's like <laughs> just goes off on this mom who's so, just like having her kid sit in her lap while she drives Yeah, just like a really, like, serious moment in an otherwise, like, lighthearted anime. Yeah, should I just, like, give up and, like, start digging? I got greedy and it's not really working in my favor. <laughs> it's either blasting me too far or on, like, an unsatisfactory floor. We can do it, we can do it. This is okay, we will accept this. Sometimes you just gotta accept what you have. Look, look. Um. I found stairs. Alright, let's do the safety save. Safety save. Safety save. Gonna do a little safety save. Yeah. Still, uh, lots of enemies I want to try out this season. Kind of hard to keep track of all of them, though. There's some anime that, like, so similar to, like, previous anime I just watched, like, this protagonist some of these isekai anime are like very similar. Well, oh, that's a hole. Not a not a stairs. That's the stairs. It's like one anime I saw where I was like, didn't I already just watch this? Oh, here we go. The greatest demon lord is reborn as a tyrannical nobody. 
Like, black-haired dude. I just saw an anime with, like, a black-haired dude. Yeah, I just like, hmm. Like another isekai anime where... Like... The protagonist was like, re oh, well that was a lithograph. I got a little bit weirded out there. I think I'd find one of those. I think I already shipped one of those a long time ago. Well, I guess it just kind of shows that like, all right, maybe this anime wasn't that great because I can't remember that many details or maybe it's just my failing memory. I could have sworn I saw an anime about like a demon king getting reborn. <laughs> and I actually liked that one, but like, I don't recognize the protagonist. I could have sworn he had like a more colorful design. I'm gonna have to watch that and see if that's its own thing or season two of the other thing I was watching. It's gonna drive me insane. Alright, next stairs I should probably do a safety save. Bug, no, go away. Bugs! Bugs! Ah, bugs! They're screaming. <laughs> this reminds me of a lizard stuck into my house like a week ago. Um, but I, like it got away from us. I, like, I was hiding underneath the laundry machine, but like I wasn't about to drag that furniture out of the way. The appliance, I don't think, I don't think you call it laundry machine furniture. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I wasn't gonna start moving that around just to try to get to it. So we, like, we left it and kind of forgot about it. <laughs> I guess my sister found it later. <laughs> I just heard this screaming in the other room. I thought, like, did you burn something? Is something on fire? Like, are you getting murdered? <laughs> no, it's just a lizard. The lizard came out. Her cat, Minnie, was, like, playing with it and, like, it let go of its tail and that was wiggling around. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> It's just like my boyfriend just like grabbed a bag and just nonchalantly grabbed it and like put it outside. <laughs> it's like got a little bit like, well, it was happening. Is <laughs> something on fire? Got like a little worried. Alright, lots of bugs. Lots of fast-moving bugs here. Cicadas! Chickens! Take that! Alright, let's get some more body geyser. I think actually, like, dipping into your fatigue is a little bit better, because... Um, fatigue loss, I think you only lose two. While, like, stamina just depends on what tool you're using. But then again, if I fall down a hole, um... I could potentially get knocked out completely based on how much uh my floors I fall down. Alright, Kira, time to give you another lumber. Hum hum hum. She seems really happy. She's writing something. I'd like to see your world. Good night. Right, here we are. Getting there. Alright, now we need to find the hole. I will save. <laughs> we already gave her a gift. Uh, we are probably... Yeah, we are, like, beyond an hour, but I will still try... Do the thing where I go for one floor. <laughs> we will search for one accessory. Do -do -do. All these windows. I'm a little bit, a little bit skeptical, like being on like an anime page. I might start playing the anime. And I know OBS does pick up desktop sounds. I try to keep Discord closed. <laughs> I'm gonna hear the beeps and the boops of Discord. 
Although I didn't have most of my servers muted. Uh, this is probably ideal, but I'm gonna be greedy. I think the only time I get notifications is when someone like directly messages me. Otherwise, if someone like ats me in a server, I just I see the red. I see the red dot. Ooh, 335. Is that? That's on the dot, actually. 335. And I hopefully I don't get flung into a hole. Go away. Stay away from me. Alright, we are digging, I guess. Maybe it is dangerous, I should say. Alright, we're accepting. We're looking for an accessory in floor 335. That's what we're doing. Like, there's a lot going on in this floor. Too much activity. Um, that's not. Downstairs. I want to do that though. I don't want to go down a level. Still watching uh, Snow White with the red hair rerun. <laughs> I watched it before. I just enjoy watching it again. Um, I just started season two. Season one ended on such a sweet note. It's like rooting for their romance. Yeah, it's gonna have a new experience for me because I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember a lot of the plot, so still, still get surprised about what happens. I, I do get like reminded somewhat. I'm like, oh right, I remember this now. Still like a nice little, nice little surprise here and there. <sighs> get to see how their relationship gets tested. Between a prince and a simple commoner. I found something that I already own. Harvest got his earrings. Okay, well, there's the accessory. Add it to the pile. <laughs> Add it to the pile of... <laughs> of other cursed earrings. Um... Now you leave it to us, but okay. Wow, like no time has passed since I've in in there. Um, I guess I can complete the row. There we go. This <laughs> is got small, medium, large, and cursed. Which, when you uncurse, it turns into large. Oh, rip. I didn't find anything new, but I found something. Alright. I like I should end off here, or should I? Just talking to sprites for the night like I usually do. I try to like start the episode on a new day. Is that it? Yeah, like a random lithograph. <laughs> I guess I could put it in my collection. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Would you say that my collection's complete? I think I missed some of the lyrics, but... Maybe about three tenths. Alright, talk to them again at 4.30ish. I'm really happy that, um, how this episode turned out, though. <laughs> Simply because of the rain, I got to, I got to view, like, two cutscenes. <laughs> two cutscenes that I was missing. And we found an accessory, even though it was one that we already have. So overall, I feel productive. <laughs> I feel productive in this video game. Uh, what time should I chat with them now? Tell you about three tenths. Hopefully I get to record again tomorrow. Really, I really wish I could record every day. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Yeah, I feel like a lot, a lot of people are, like, actually supporting the channel. I'm kind of surprised. Um, like, all together, like... Like, YouTube, like, Patreon, Twitch... I actually get, like... Like, pretty, like, good money. I mean, it's, like, I can't live off it, but, like... Like, oh, this is actually, like... 
kind of neat to just see my hobby, like, like making something. <laughs> like, I really appreciate, like, everyone who watches and, like, even, like, gives little, little tips and donations. It's, like, a very, like, pleasant surprise. Especially when it's, like, it's this. <laughs> You're just watching me do this. You're watching me grind for, like, a hundred episodes of this. Like, it's not, it's not too exciting, but... I know it's like, it's not a lot of money that I get, like, overall, but... Yeah, I think, like, YouTube, I get, like, 60 bucks a month, which... Yeah, you can't live off 60 bucks a month, but... It's still pretty cool. Like, I, I kind of wonder, like, if I kept growing, like... What, what's the potential? <laughs> I definitely need to, like, probably expand and do more games, though. <laughs> Like, I was doing so niche, but I like it. That's the problem. <laughs> I like Harvest Moon. All right. Well, I'm happy. I feel like this outfit, like, brought the rain. I'm going to attribute it to this outfit. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep wearing it or if I'm going to get frustrated again and probably change it, <laughs> change it to a different color. Um, so an apprentice. Okay, so... Um, let's see. Next episode, I guess we'll see what happens. I guess we can do Carter's yellow event since we just got him to yellow. Um, but yeah, there'll be stuff to do. Um, tomorrow's Sunday, so maybe I could try to get some potpourri. I still need to get a potpourri random event and a, well, a Rick one too, but that one only triggers in the fall and I didn't get it last year for some reason. But yeah, there'll be stuff to do. Next episode. I can also get Marlin's blue event, I think. In the next episode as well. Probably should aim for that, because it only happens on a Monday. Luckily I don't need rain, but <laughs> it's only one day out of the week, so it's easy to kind of like pass you by and forget about it. And then I need to get Marlin to yellow, and this yellow event unfortunately requires a rainy day. <laughs> it's probably the same, the same conditions as the purple event. Okay, well, anywho, I'm just babbling at this point. Um, I hope you guys had a relaxing time, and I'll see you in the next episode. Um, uh, bye bye.